I need a knife. I should get a grenade. Girl, that'd be sick. I want a machine gun. Dude, ninja star. I need ninja stars. I should get a rocket launcher. Oh, I should get a sword. I want a crossbow. That'd be awesome. What'd you say, Bill? You're mad because my dog pooped on your lawn? Eat a rocket, Bill. I need a baseball bat with barbed wire around it. I want world peace. Ooh, I want a nuclear submarine. Hi, welcome to Demolition Ranch. We have Kevin Brittingham from Q, which uh, you guys really liked the last time that Kevin was on because you guys brought a lot of cool guns and uh, you have a lot of knowledge in the industry. So we kind of have some more cool stuff today. Thank you, and I'm adorable. Yeah, and you're adorable. Like everybody was just like, they wouldn't stop commenting about his looks the entire time and how handsome he is. So we brought him back because uh, he's great looking. That's the only reason. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you also have some some new guns uh, that you kind of had. You're still prototyping them, but they were even in the more prototype form last time they're here. So you're further down along the line. What do you got? Yeah, we are. We're getting ready. So the last time was about the eight six cartridge, eight yeah. six blackout, which so. which is. Uh, this big old boy here. Yeah, so cool. a 6.5 with a 3.38 bullet in it. And so now we have uh, the Boombox. Such so, a good name. It's a good name, you like it? I love it, I love Thank it you. so much. So basically it's an 8.6, uh, for most people they would think it's an 8.6 Honey Badger. Um, the advantages are basically three times the power and range. And you know, just a few ounces heavier. This is my Honey Badger here for comparison. So you can just see Honey Badgers take a regular AR mag. This takes an AR-10 mag, um, but about the same size, slightly heavier, but you, like you said, three times the power. Yeah, still under five pounds. We improved uh, the accuracy. We have improved uh, in, in the range. So three times the range, power on target. Uh, or energy on target. What power on it? What the hell does that mean? So energy on target. Uh, and we're even able to make it quieter than the 300 blackout and the honey badger. So that's pretty exciting. And so this is still a prototype. You're still working out some things. Um, you're hoping to bring it to market by the end of the year, or early next year. Is that right? That's correct. Yeah. Okay. I mean, this is, I would say even pre-production at this point. Okay. So we're making just the, the last couple of yards, the, the minor refinements to the gun. And so this is my honey badger. Uh, we also have a couple other cues here. This is my fix. This is and that's in eight six. Yeah. This is my mini fix in three hundred blackout. This is my sugar weasel in five five six. So I have quite the collection. Q collect. Q collect. Collection. Mm -hmm. I like it. Is it funny? Uh -oh. But if you could, you could spell it with a Q U. E, yeah, I think it's great. Everybody wants to work at marketing. This is going to be good for your company. You can use this. <laughs> yeah, thank you. And then you also brought this. Tell me about that thing. Yeah, so this was a new project as well. It's the Mini Fix SD. So it's a 300 blackout with an integrated silencer, handguard over the silencer. So kind of a special project gun um, that's to be as compact and lightweight and just to reduce all the signature that we possibly can with the gun. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, it looks big and bulky, but it's light and yeah, very ergonomic. Just more prototypes. Basically, we have a boom box with an eight inch barrel and one with a six inch oh, barrel. Oh yeah, that's a difference there. So. Is there one that you're going to be going with? Are you trying to pick between them? Are you going to have both options? Well, we're trying to offer both options and let the, the customer for it make the final decision. So right now we're, we're testing six inch, eight inch, 10 inch, uh, 13 inch, and 16. And then also, you know, this like the fix. So another improvement over traditional AR, the Honey Badger, you can swap the barrels like you can in our fixed rifle. So you can go with a 6.5 Creedmoor or 308 barrel in the gun. Mm -hmm. And with the uh, eight six, you have a one in three twist. Is that right? Yeah, it's super twisty. And uh, tell the advantages of that. You, I know you talked about it in the last video, but just for those who didn't see it. So, so we went down the road with fast twist to try to get subsonic dispersion or accuracy at distance. Um, it, it, we want to shoot under one MOA at three hundred meters with subsonic, which has never been done. So fast twist helps with that. And so what we started 
learning was it's putting more energy on target, it shoots flatter, and so there's a lot of advantages to it. So with a short barrel with fast twist, we can get energy on target that we get with a slower twist, longer barrel. So we can make a smaller, more compact gun that delivers the same energy on target. So when it's spinning faster, is it that it has more stored up energy because it's spinning or how does that how does that work well i think you could think of it like a blender you know okay. you have uh you know like low medium and high speed and so when you go with fast twist it's like high speed on the blender if you're going through if you have a one in ten twist and you're going through 15 inches the bullet's going to expand and turn one and a half times well with a one in three twist the bullet makes five revolutions so you get a bigger cutting surface and uh I don't, people would say hydrostatic shot, but more energy on target. You'll see the initial wound cavity and the gel test with supersonic is about three times the size it is with a slower twist. Okay. We actually have some gel over here. I think we're going to shoot it with a subsonic, right? That, yeah, subsonic. That would be cool to see. And we have a slow motion camera. We're going to try and see, uh, see if we can catch that. Look at us. Oh. Look at us getting advanced. We've answered your prayers, comment section. <laughs> I actually haven't shot the boom box yet. I shot the... Uh, the kind of initial, super initial prototypes last time, but we're gonna rip it up today and see how this 8.6 out of a AR platform runs. Okay. Subs, 8.6. What is this suppressor? You have Pork a name? chop. Pork chop, that's right. With a Q, like collection. Ah, see? Brilliant. So brilliant. All right, let's shoot some dirt. Yeah, that's, that's pretty quiet. How is there no gas coming back in my face? Did y'all do something with that? Or is this just not a gassy round? There's like nothing coming out of here. No, it is. I mean, part of it's the silencer. I mean, it's an impingement operating system. Ooh, that got hot. That's so quiet. That's fun, huh? That's super fun. And very heavy. How, what's the grain, those bullets? Uh, that's a 300 grain. So yeah. that's a 300 grain match bullet. And how fast are they going? Nine? Out of there, probably around 950 or so. So that's a lot of energy going down range. Pretty cool. We have more ammo. We're trying to make a whole system. We're not just a silencer company that goes on anyone's gun. You know, we're making the firearms and the silencers as a system. So we, yeah, you don't want gas in the face. We want it to be as quiet and compact as possible. Especially if these are, I would assume, adopted by agencies or military. They're going to be running full auto and maybe not with eyes on. And you really don't want a gas in the face in that case. Yeah, and a lot of people think it's a gas system, but you think the MP5 SD, which is one of the most iconic suppressed weapon systems ever, and that's just a blowback, and that's a very gassy gun. You can't do a mag dump without your yeah. eyes watering with that gun. Yeah. You gotta send it home. Look at that. I yeah. don't even know what I'm Let me teach him how to shoot <laughs> this <laughs> thing. Teach me how to shoot. Yeah, you're right. There's absolutely, it's like shooting a bolt action. There's yeah. no gas in the face. It's launching those heavy shells too. You got me right in the finger. Yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> it was launching those things back. That's cool. Yeah. You know what? We got a long range. Let's see if this little shorty will shoot good on the long range. So, subs. We're at 4,000 yards. <laughs> Why'd you laugh? Because you're getting really bad at lying. Man, that, uh, that target painted gray is invisible next to that burn. Dude, that Ooh. takes so long. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Dunk. But it sounds like they never hit that hard. Like subs never hit that hard. No, not at 100 either. So heavy. That was. Oh, I thought I pulled it. Yeah, that feels really good. Donk, donk, donk. Oh, so now I can't miss. Yeah, I got kind of lucky. I thought I pulled one of them and it still hit. Oh, I missed. Ouch. I was aiming like. Yep, oh, at there the head. Go. There it is. I'm going to actually just hit in the dirt. Let's see what it sounds like. Oh, it's so quiet. <laughs> that just hit like the soft dirt off to the side. It's like, Tuck. that's pretty sweet. Um, How's the kick on it? I would say, I'm trying to think what to compare it to. I don't know. Like, it's so quiet that it's really hard to compare because it just, it's just not abrupt at all. Like, it's not like. Uh, I don't notice the recoil, no. so I think that means it's good. I mean, it's got to be more than a, you know, a 556 or 300 blackout, but. I don't notice it either. It's got to be like a 308, right? I don't think so. It's less? I think it's a good bit less. I don't know. It's, it's soft shooting. It's easy. So this is what we just were shooting. And 
This one has a little bit longer barrel and we put a longer suppressor on it. So it's a little bit longer, should be even quieter. Yeah, the goal was, this is basically diminishing returns to make the quietest thing possible. Yeah. Any okay. longer at that point doesn't really make a difference with sound. Let's uh, shoot it down the long range. Hit some dirt with that thing. Let's see how quiet that is. This is such a hard thing to tell on camera. Like it, it's going to do nothing for you guys. I'm doing this for me. I don't, I don't care about y'all right now. Hey, I care about them. I mean, I care. I don't. Yeah, that, that hitting the dirt sound is so cool. All right, I'm going to try to pop some steel. I pulled that last one. Yeah, that's so cool. Um, we are going to shoot a little gel block now and see what this thing does. I think actually we're going to do it with supersonic because I just really want to see what it looks like in slow motion with the most energy going through that gel block. Oh my Jeez. God. See that initial wound cavity? Yeah, you can it's, see it. It's exiting right there. Yeah, but that's really close. That's like as soon as it enters, it's... I mean, that's so the rotational velocity, the rifle bullets open up sooner. And all of those bubbles are like the spin. See how it's going up? Like, mm -hmm. you can tell there's a... Oh, it's spinning that many times yes. in there. Yeah, fast twist. Dude, that's crazy. So you get the cutting surface, you know, I mean, you all the, the trauma. The trail of the bullet going in? Yeah. That's a good 8-inch, because it's bulging this out about an inch on either side. That's a good 8-inch... Uh, it's an 8-inch bulge. It's a good 8-inch bulge there. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, which is medium, pretty good, average. So we can't uh, save it to the SD card for some reason, so we're playing it like this. So that's what it would look like if I could save it to the dang card. We're never doing slow motion again. Yep. This is why. GoPros only. No! So you saw sort of uh, how much it expands, which was had like a huge wound cavity, and then it all contracts back down. But it doesn't matter in a in a body, in an animal, in a human, the damage is done. Uh, but still, a teeny tiny little hole right here for the entry came in there, ripped it all up, and then it exited. Pretty sweet. Did you see all that jiggle? Oh, that goes way faster. Dude. Look at that power. Killed it. <laughs> Killed it. Super she sonic, did. super powerful. Oh, it's still more. She. I'm going to have to get some 8.6 proof targets. Yeah, those are 50 BMG, but they're not enough for 8.6. Supersonic at a real human skull. Definitely real. Oh, dude. All right, so. Ooh, dang. Yeah, you can see it come right out the back. Of, I mean, he cracked the skull. You can see the skull expand apart. Oh. Ooh. Also, I figured out that uh, I just needed to format the SD card. Imagine that. Now we can actually save him. Dang. Yep. I'm going to say he probably didn't survive. Dude, his brain might be fine. You think? I mean, it's not connected to his spine anymore, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna shoot him right there. I'll hit him right in the forehead there. That's not supposed to happen. It's supposed to stay attached to your head. We messed up on the slow mo on that one too. So sorry, Matt. We're getting better though. It's don't hey, don't say sorry to me. Sorry guys. It's them. They're disappointed. Sorry comment section. They're not mad. That hates me. They're just disappointed. And some of y'all like me, and some of y'all don't. And I don't know. <laughs> no, we're we're learning. We're gonna try to start doing more slow mo kind of stuff because it is really cool to see this stuff in slow motion. But uh, I would say um, supersonic eight uh, six is very good at headshots. Yeah, that's a win. Check. We have uh, a watermelon, some claws, a cantaloupe. We are going to a Mikey. Shoot him. 
a wild Mikey on the range. Uh, he actually has subsonics, but they're some Gorilla Ammunition expanding hollow points. Yep, 285. Should be right. mean. Mine are still supers. Uh, we're just gonna see what happens. Shoot that watermelon with those. I want to see what a subsonic will do to a watermelon. Okay, so it watermelon's so soft, it really does go through. So I got supers here. Oh! That's the big difference, and we cleared the entire so table. A difference. That's a super difference. How about that? <laughs> Here's a mat joke. <laughs> All right, we still got claws on the ground. Hit it with your little baby subs. <laughs> oh, that's cantaloupe. Jeez. Same done salt for. Oh, that smells good. Like the white claw watermelon smell I'm, I'm getting right now. Now we got a new flavor, cantaloupe watermelon. Cantaloupe watermelon. Cantamelon. Waterloupe. Waterloupe. That's it. Probably throwing bullets everywhere. That thing, that target. <laughs> All right, we uh, have another video coming up here with Uncle Kevin soon. He brought us something cool. It is another gun. It's a unicorn, and it's not made by Q, so I can't add to my collection. But it's pretty sweet, so be watch for that. Thanks for coming out. Oh man, thank you. It's pretty cool. Oh, I see what he did. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching Dimension Ranch. I love you, and I'll see you next time. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor.